हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डू इनिशियल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ फैब्रिक पाथ एंड आई टेल यू हाउ इजी इट इज़ टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट देर आर जस्ट थ्री और फोर कमांड्स दैट यू नीड टू रन एंड आई हैव फोर डिवाइसेस राइट नाउ आउट ऑफ विच टू आर सेवन के डिवाइसेस एंड टू आर फाइव के आई टोल्ड यू दैट इट इज़ वेरी मच हार्डवेयर स्पेसिफिक सो आई I'll show everything to you right now how to configure it. So let me take you to the command line interface. So okay, this is a 5K device in front of you, 5K1, and this is 5K2. This is uh, 7K1 and this is 7K2. Okay, so in this picture you can see that uh, 7K has four links to 5K2. and 4 to 5k1 so total of 8 uh, links are there on both of these devices in fact all of these uh, four devices okay since we are talking about uh, just the basic implementation so port numbers really don't matter i'll simply use first eight ports okay so this is uh, 7k1 first thing is that you need to check whether the feature set is enabled for fabric path or not for fabric path you need to have feature set not feature okay it is disabled right now feature set fabric path okay this is the command to enable it so it is enabled so it it has to be done on the other 7k2 device as well feature set fabric path okay so it is enabled you can even check this thing from <clears throat> you can verify it from the show feature set now you should be able to see that okay go into the config mode and you should have interfaces Uh, which you want to move into the fabric path domain i told you that 7k has a limitation that only f series ports or modules can be used for it so check the modules using show modules you can see that there are two f series modules which can be used okay so if you have decided to use ports of module 3 these won't work so you have to choose ports from these two all right so for the 7k let's check the show interface status i'll use first eight ports okay because you can see it's a module 1 and module 1 has the capability to run a uh, fabric path because it's a f series okay uh, f1 and f2 series modules can be used for the fabric path implementation so go into that uh, interface config mode interface ethernet 1 slash 11 till 18 okay so eight ports are being used for fabric path command is very simple switch port mode fabric path it is done so it's very easy okay you want to verify it show interface status now you will see f path it is suspended because other side is a uh, not yet configured with the fabric path okay but the main point to note is f path okay it is not mentioned whether it's uh, access or trunk or out or it is f path so this is the way to check the configuration and then you have to move a vlan which vlan you want to move into the fabric path domain let's say you decided to use vlan 100 okay in that case go into the config mode go under the vlan 100 okay and then use the command mode fabric path okay so it is enabled now if you check show vlan id 100 you will see all of these ports are in this vlan and uh, if you check show spanning tree vlan 100 spanning tree instances 
uh, for VLAN 100 does not exist because we have moved it into fabric path domain. All right. And similarly, this has to be done on this end as well. E1 slash 11 till 18 switch port mode fabric path. Okay, now you can see that there are log messages appearing, which means that a change has been accepted. Show interface status. You can see F path. Okay, now these are up because other side is also configured. In fact, there is no connection between 7K1 and 7K2. Let's check show interface status again. These are in F path. And then configure VLAN 100. Sorry, I forgot what VLAN I used. VLAN 199 was not supposed to be used. No, but before you delete it, verify that this VLAN does not exist. I mean, not being used. So VLAN 100, okay. Mode, fabric, path. It is done. So fabric path is configured on 7K devices. And on the 5K, it has to be done on 5548 model. This is the model which supports this fabric path. Okay, it's 5548. So here, uh, when you initialize fabric path, one additional command has to be entered. So that command is install feature set. Okay, but before that, you have to check license. Show license usage. Actually, license also has to be verified on the 7K device as this uh, fabric path will not work. This is the license which is required. Enhanced layer to package. Okay. You can also check the same thing on this. Show license usage. Okay. This was the license that we need to have. Okay. License is enabled. Then we have to enable the fabric path. With here the command is install feature install feature set fabric path okay so it will take around five seconds to run so it is done and after that feature set fabric path so this this particular command was additional on 5k devices feature set is also enabled similarly you have to enable this here install feature set fabric okay it is already there good so feature set fabric okay so it is also configured on 5k2 the configuration is very simple you might must have noticed similarly VLAN 100 you have to create and then mode fabric path okay similarly here VLAN 100 mode fabric path and check what are all interfaces you want to use for this uh, 5k for FP I want to use first eight ports so quickly go into this one slash one till eight switch port mode fabric path it is configured similarly here switch port mode fabric path that's it this this was the configuration which was required rest of the things will happen automatically show interface status okay so now you can connect your host machines or servers and put that into vlan 100 okay and after that uh, they will means whatever data they will send that will travel over the fabric path domain okay you can also check the show spanning tree here for VLAN 100. It will say instance does not exist. 
okay it is now no more a part of stb it is a different uh, it is a different thing now so in the next chapter i'll tell you how to verify the things what are all commands commands you have to enter to be able to verify the fabric path and also i'll tell you additional uh, things which you can use to change the configuration okay so i hope that it's been informative to you